It was one of the biggest deals of 2010, and since then, Warren Buffett's acquisition of railroad Burlington Northern has been paying dividends literally. Since Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway took control of BNI, it has taken two and a quarter billion dollars in dividends, almost triple what the company was paying before it was taken over. Buffett called the purchase an all-in wager on the U.S. economy, but going forward, how will he balance the capital needs of Berkshire versus the capital needs of Burlington? It's a good question. With us to help maybe ferret out some answers is Tom Russo. He's a partner at Gardner Russo and Gardner. He manages about $4 billion in assets, over 10% of which is Berkshire Hathaway. So perfect uh, person to talk to. Good to have you back with us. Thank you very much. What do you think about this story and the dividend move here? I think it's an interesting one, but I think the headline suggests something other than what's going on. I mean, in, in the annual letter itself, Warren celebrated the fact that Berkshire will be able to plow an enormous amount of money back into uh, Burlington. One of the things that Berkshire really excels at mm. is capital spending. We just heard a moment ago that Exxon's going to spend $34 billion this year, $100 million a day, simply to stay in place. So why does it look like he's draining his most recent acquisition of cash? I mean, even competitors are sort of gleeful because they were afraid that uh, they would be fighting this uh, well in Dowd Railroad, and now it looks like they won't be. I think they should stay fearful. <laughs> I think they should, even though one of them is based in Omaha, Union Pacific. <laughs> I mean, the fact is, um, Burlington's going to spend three and a half billion dollars this year. There is an unlimited amount of money that they can spend. And the beauty about Berkshire is it provides a place inside the company where companies can spend just what it takes to build their competitive uh, advantage and to widen their moat. Berkshire um, doesn't focus on reported profits, and often when a company spends a lot of money, it disrupts reported income. Mm. But inside Berkshire, that doesn't matter. Well, what does matter? Is it what, you know, Warren talks about kind of buying more companies? I mean, do you want to see him go out and do that, Tom, at this point? Absolutely. I mean, that's what he's all yeah. about, isn't yeah, he? Absolutely. Either his subsidiaries, like Iskar, going into the marketplace and expanding their franchise, or coming up with another Burlington. You know, the beauty about Burlington is it shows you what happens when you allow the market to in assist you rather to inform you. Mm. When he paid, when he made the acquisition, um, Berkshire, uh, Burlington shares had dropped 10 points in the matter of two weeks. They dropped from $86 to $76 simply because industrial production numbers look soft and investors no longer cared about the competitive advantage that the rails have over trucks. It turned out to be a pretty good play, though. It turned out to be a great play. Their profits yeah. dropped 50% last year, mm -hmm. and it's set up to do extremely well as commerce takes our raw materials out to the coast and brings manufactured goods from Asia into North America from the coast. So it's are, really well positioned. Are we to see this, though, as a phase where Berkshire, where Warren Buffett is piling up cash as much as he can because he loves going on acquisition sprees, right? Last time he was sitting on $60 billion. It was all we talked about on this network for two yeah. months. And now he says his trigger finger is itchy. He wants to get out there. Is he just raising money for a big buy? No, no. I mean, that money, that the dividend, the distribution, really, that was just the operating income net of taxes. You know, that's what's left over. They're planning to spend $3.5 billion at uh, Burlington this year. They'll spend a lot more if they have a, a productive use for the capital. If not, just like with C's, for example, you know, when he bought sees um, he hasn't put any additional capital into that investment. It's poured uh, back into Berkshire hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, which have funded other uh, investments. If sees could use money, luckily they're not forced to uh, make spend expenditures, but if they could, uh, they'd get every nickel of it that they possibly could. Hey, as he looks kind of around for some new investments, is there any areas that, I mean, I know you track him, yeah. I mean, any areas that you think he might be looking at closely, specifically? Well, even though he, he really sort of became pro-American in this year's annual report you read, you know, so our best years are in front of us, I would have thought that he continues to look abroad. I would have thought that that was the area that he would continue to focus on because that's where population growth is occurring, right. that's where GDP growth is occurring. Over time, that's probably where currencies will look stronger compared to the U.S. dollar. I just have a sense that that's where, it, that's where he'd naturally look. It's just harder for him to find those types of investments abroad. I also suspect that it would probably be in the realm of family controlled companies rather than public companies Which because they have a history yeah. of being run for the shareholder, not for management. So and I would he, has, look for, and he has a history of loving those kind of companies. It does. Yeah, and the question is, can they find them big enough to, to deploy the $38 billion at year end plus the flows? Well, that's flows. the problem, right? Because a lot of those, those family-owned companies are a lot smaller. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there are, there are elephants. There are family-controlled elephants in the marketplace, and it's just a question of timing. You know, when Wrigley's, um, not, not a private company, but when um, Wrigley's was, was, was sold to Mars, you know, he was well involved with that transaction. He has people scouring the earth for right. these uh, elephants, and I think we'll see more of them. Hey, good to have you back with us, Tom Russo. Thank you. Thank you.